Welcome to the 33rd episode of Season Tickets. I'm Michael. And I'm Max. The boys' basketball team started their season off with a win against Lake Ridge Academy, 70-50. to The girls travel to Buckeye on Wednesday night. And the swimming team opens up their season on Wednesday. And now we are going into our previews of all of the major college football conference title games. And in the Big Ten title game, Michigan State takes on Iowa. Max, who do you have? I might be a little bitter here still, but I'm going to go with Iowa and Michigan State. Um, It's going to be a good matchup. I think it's going to be low scoring because both teams really just run the ball and play good defense. But I like the way Iowa has looked this year, and I think they pull out a victory over MSU. I'm actually going to take Michigan State because overall I just think they're the better team. I haven't been too impressed with Iowa all season, and I just think that Michigan State is the better team in this game. Max, let's go into the ACC title game. Who do you have in the Clemson-North Carolina? I'm going to go with Clemson. I, I would really like North Carolina to win, but Clemson's just a better team. North Carolina hasn't really beaten anyone, and uh, you know Clemson still has wins over Florida State and Notre Dame, and I think Clemson is just a flat-out better team than North Carolina. Yeah, I think Clemson gets the win as well. But and go Tar Heels. And remains undefeated entering the college football playoff as they will make it if they win the game. But North Carolina would be better for the Ohio State fans in the world. But now we go into the SEC title game, and Alabama takes on Florida in one of the more lopsided SEC title games of recent memory. And I'm going to take Alabama. I don't even know if Florida is going to get 10 points in this game. And I think Alabama feeds feeds Derrick Henry the ball for 40-plus times again. And I think Alabama runs all over Florida. Max, who do you have? Well, I don't even think Florida will score a point. Um, They looked horrible against Florida State, putting up two points, and Alabama is a different animal than Florida State. And, you know, Alabama is going to run the same play over and over and over and over again with running Derrick Henry left and right. And and Derrick Henry is going to shred him for like 200 yards, but go Gators. And in the Pac-12 title game, Stanford takes on USC. And I'm going to go with Stanford as they beat USC earlier in the year. And I just think they're a better team. Even though USC is playing a lot better football than they were at the time of the last meeting, I do think that Stanford does get the victory. And it could sneak into the college football playoff with two losses over Ohio State. That would be very controversial. But Max, who do you have in this Pac-12 championship game? I'm going to go with Stanford, too. I think they're a better team than USC. Christian McCaffrey is a very fun player to watch. As he is the white Reggie Bush. But Stanford's a better team. The loss to Northwestern was kind of fluky. And uh, I'm going with Stanford to beat USC. And then the American Athletic Conference title game, Houston takes on Temple. Max, who do you have? I got the Houston Cougars, led by former Ohio State coach Tom Herman. And they are an exciting team to watch. They put up a lot of points, play good offense, and I don't think Temple can stop them. I'm actually going to go with an upset with Temple here in this game. I know the game is at Houston, but I think Temple can slow down Houston's offense. I don't think the Houston defense will be be able to really stop the Temple offenses. I think they're going to score enough points to beat Houston. Max, let's go into the MAC title game. Who do you have? I'm going with Bowling Green in my favorite conference title game. Uh, Matt Johnson from Bowling Green is maybe one of the best quarterbacks you have not heard of. This dude has thrown for four touchdowns in like multiple games. I mean, he throws a ton of touchdowns, and it's going to be a fun game to watch as I as the MAC title normally is. And I see the Bowling Green Falcons pulling out a win against the Northern Illinois Huskies. He's the MAC expert, so I have to agree with them, him. I'm going to go with Bowling Green getting the win. And now we go into our college basketball recap of the Maryland versus North Carolina game. And North Carolina got a solid victory at home over Maryland and both teams showed that they are title contenders but they also showed some flaws as Maryland had a bunch of turnovers early and North Carolina let them back into the game but now we're going into our previews of some more big college basketball games and the Big Ten ACC challenge continues with Michigan State and Louisville. Max who do you have? I'm gonna go with Michigan State. Um, I really like how the Spartans have been playing so far this year especially Denzel Valentine and I see them pulling off a W over Louisville. I got Michigan State in a really close game. Louisville is a very talented team, and I would not be surprised if this is a very close game all the way down to the wire. But Arizona takes on Gonzaga in a West Coast showdown. Max, who do you have? I'm going to go with Gonzaga. Gonzaga has, like, multiple plays that I feel have been in college basketball for, like, eight years. So I think their experience helps them. 
I'm gonna go with Gonzaga as well. I don't really like picking Gonzaga, but I just don't like Arizona. They almost lost to Santa Clara. Shout out to Steve Nash's alma mater. But I just really don't think Arizona is that good this season. And I'm gonna go with Gonzaga because they have the size up front to match up with anybody in the country. And Vandy takes on Baylor. And I am going to go with Vanderbilt because I think they are one of the 15 best teams in college basketball this year and should be able to beat Baylor as both teams have good size. But I think the guard play of Vandy will be the difference in this game. Max, who do you have? I'm gonna go with Vandy too. Uh, I like Damian Jones. Is that his name, right? Yes. Yeah, he, he's a good player. And Vandy looked good in the Maui Invitational. And I, I think that they're better than Baylor. Yeah, kind of interesting. Vandy got more love for losing to Kansas than winning their first five games. But Villanova takes on Oklahoma in a huge top ten showdown. Max, who do you have? I'm going to go Oklahoma. Oklahoma is a very good team. And Villanova, I think, is always overrated. And, uh, you know, let's see if they can prove me wrong. I'm going to go with Villanova because they have one of the best defenses in the country, but they can also find multiple ways to win as for the first time last night, their defense didn't play that well against St. Jones, St. Joe's, but they did drop 86 points and I believe 14 three-pointers. So they can win in multiple ways. And I think in a higher scoring game than Villanova's used to, they can get the victory. And now we go into the NFL and the Colts take on the Steelers on Sunday night football. Max, who do you have? I'm going to go with the Colts in this one. Uh, the Steve, ben Roethlisberger is hurt at the moment, and uh, I think it could be a high-scoring affair as both teams have some very good passing offenses, and I think not having Le'Veon Bell kind of hurts the Steelers in this one. I'm going to go with the Colts as well. I think this is a pretty even matchup with Big Ben, but without him, I think that the Colts should get the victory, and now we go into the Vikings Seahawks. Seahawks game. And who do you have, Max? I'm going to go with... The Seahawks. The Seahawks got a huge win over the Steelers last week, and the defense is starting to look a little bit better despite giving up 30 points. But I do see the Seahawks as the better team in this matchup. I'm going to take the Seahawks as well. I think they finally get back on track into their Super Bowl team that they have been the past two seasons. And I messed up on the scores in the last episode. They are now 71-63 to with Michael still in the lead. And that will wrap it up for this episode of Season Tickets. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Season Ticket videos.